those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. I flat out said, what are we doing violating the Constitution? Don't you know there's a legal means by which we can change the law if it's not working? And we go to Congress to do that. And then I heard another chilling statement. If we go to Congress with what we want to do and are doing, they will say no. We live in very different times now because of 9-11. I, I blew every whistle I could think of within the system at NSA, but then for the sake of the nation and for the sake of the future of this country and the Constitutional Republic, uh, I would be failing the oath that I took if I did, did not take that one next fateful step. I still remember the moment when I made that choice. It was clear what, what I was going to do. What I shared with the reporter was unclassified information regarding the secret surveillance programs. And so, in November 28th of 2007, I was looking out of my bedroom window, and what did I see streaming across the front yard as cars were pulling up, a dozen uh, FBI agents uh, armed streaming across the front lawn. And the next thing I heard was a really loud knock. I was asked to show up at a classified FBI facility in the greater D.C. area. And when I arrived, they said, there's someone here to see you. I didn't know who that person was. It turned out I was a chief prosecutor on my case. He said, with great gravity, how would you like to spend the rest of your life in prison, Mr. Drake, unless you cooperate with our investigation? We have more than enough information and evidence to put you away for a long, long time. You better start talking. I now faced, it was 10 count indictment, uh, all felonies, five in the Espionage Act, one for obstruction of justice, four for making false statements to FBI agents, uh, 35 years, offers of 35 years in prison. I knew that if they did prevail, it would set the most dangerous of precedents uh, in this country. Fortunately, uh, the case collapsed under the weight of truth, the extraordinary uh, turn in the court of public opinion. I salute the Government Accountability Project. Uh, GAP is certainly at the epicenter um, in this, this just unrelenting campaign against uh, truth and control of information. It's crucial to have a voice, it's crucial to have advocacy, it's crucial to have a network of those who can go to bat for you. Given my own experiences with the GAP, it's the you know, unconditional um, recommendation. We ultimately prevailed against the Department of Justice and I remain free to this day. Thank you.